Awesome. Uh, so we're now joined in the studio by uh, Frank, who goes by Frank uh, Mondoze Paul. No, Frank Mondoze. Frank Mondoze, yeah, okay. The organizer of... The of, producer of, of the Mondoze Ball, that's right. Awesome. Now, uh, we... I just I, I just talked about the ball briefly in the introduction, um, and you bill it as the largest opulent sexy event in Canada. Explain, please, Frank. Well, um, about six years ago, we... My friends and I were talking about uh, some... The party scene in Montreal, and unlike the gay and queer scene, where you guys, every time you go out, you have a lot of sexiness that happens around you. I think almost naturally. I don't know. Am I wrong, uh, Jordan? Or we like the sexiness. Yeah, the yes. sexiness is good. Mm -hmm. Well, in the straight scene, um, there's there's not many uh, sexy events that go on and when you go to them they're a lot like underground and grimy and lewd and not really elegant and sophisticated and intelligent so six years ago we decided to embark on a project called um, creating an annual event for Montreal and Canada which is it was called the erotic ball the ballet erotic this year we changed the name to the Mondoze ball just to give it a more broad appeal because we found that uh, erotic has a negative connotation in, in society unfortunately um, and the goal was to create an event where everybody from no matter what your uh, sex is, your sexual orientation is, can come and party in an environment uh, that is uh, sensually stimulating, uh, that would have great music with by international DJs, uh, merged with circus and burlesque performances. So basically, while you're performing uh, in a thema uh, sorry, while you're dancing and participating in a thematic event where everybody's dressed up sexy, uh, you have sensual entertainment that's going on all around you to seduce you and um, lift the sexy energy in the room and um, everything uh, just explodes from there. I'm curious about the, the effects of, the, you mentioned the negative connotations of, of, the, uh, of the name, the erotic. previous name. What, what, explain, what do you mean? What well, happened? In, in Quebec, unfortunately, erotic uh, stands for two things, pornography and strippers. Uh, okay. And that, that's everything that we're not. It, when, in, if what I, about massage? There's also yeah, massage. there's also the erotic massages. Exactly, yes. exactly. So, as you as you see, um, every the word erotic or eroticism in Quebec has been bastardized to be a negative connotation. Mm. Um, and what did that mean for 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 your party? Did for you, my did you party, just attract the wrong elements. No, no. In or? my in, in terms of my party, in terms of the people, nothing was wrong with it. Uh, we actually it was magical. The last five years have okay. been magical events because the people that I've been reaching that have taken the time to learn about the brand, check out our videos see what we're doing so they understood the the, the value of the, uh, the event it's the media and uh, uh. the other people that have preconceived notions and therefore limit the growth of the event due to the fact that they they put it in this barrel of un desirables and uh, that was just annoying and like it's funny you know like uh, look being here on Queer Corpse, you know, you guys have gone through all your your battles in society to be equal, and uh, and it's funny because in 2011 we're doing a party about sensuality and uh, and um, understanding sexuality on a more global uh, scale. And uh, I seem to be, have all kinds of preconceived no notions and prejudice against us as though we are a bunch of deviants uh, going to a party for sex. When in fact, at our parties, there is absolutely no sex. The whole point is stimulation, eye candy, seductiveness, and just a way for regular people that have uh, daily lives, work, children, and everything. This is a, a place of fantasy and escape. And it's a place where you could just wear whatever you want for one night. Uh, dare to be sexy and dare to have a good time and it's just okay. a, a release so uh, let me see if I'm hearing you correctly are you defining yourself perhaps against like as differentiating yourself from, from eroticism the, no from from the sort of the swinger scene well look uh, uh the swing we we have we are actually the goal of this party is to unite everybody okay. for what i would what i would like to see is a party in montreal that for one night we drop labels labels are unimportant labels is what humans and people do to, in order to uh identify with something for one night i would like to swingers come to my event absolutely just like fetishists do just like gay people do by 
bisexuals and transgendered people and, and drag queens. That's what it is. It is a circus. It is a festival. It is a festival that senses a festival of sensuality and sexuality. So I don't really look at this event and try to put it under a category or a label. I just looking for one night to drop labels. And that's where we come into this year's theme, where it's about uh, peace and love and uh, going on the concept of imagine. So imagine a world with no labels. Imagine a world where everybody accepts everybody or at the minimum tolerates each other. So that's the way, that's the philosophy of Mondo okay. It's about acceptance, non-judgment. And if you, ha- if you can't accept or you have to be judgmental, just tolerate people and uh, smile. And, um, and when we're talking about love, love is not about this emotion that you have to you know, be in love. Love to me is the fact of being courteous to people when you walk down the street, smiling. It's, it's being happy. And that, this is what this is party is about. So uh, Mondo Zé Ball this year, the theme is Imagine. And uh, the concept of the night is really uh, let's bring back the spirit of the 60s and 70s where everybody was about peace and love and alternative lifestyles. And when I mean alternative lifestyles, I mean like not accepting the status quo as the only way to live in society. Um, I believe that each individual is divine and the only way you can get in touch with your divinity is if you start to ask yourself the questions of what makes you happy and be honest with those questions and when you start to find those answers a lot of the time it'll be uh, related to sexuality and if you uh, can identify with a positive notion of your own sexuality and live it in a happy and non-threatened or non-guilty way you start to live your life in a bit more of a happier way and that will be the first step towards having a society that it gives love so there are um from what i could tell there there is the one big main event right that's right but but you have a number of different things yeah we leading have, up to or we have in conjunction um, with yeah we have three main parties a year uh, actually three main balls we have our uh, mondo Zé ball which is our uh, annual anniversary blowout f- extravaganza where we don't spare any dollars we spend a lot of money on giving montrealers the most complete party experience from theme decor international djs performances animation it doesn't it doesn't stop uh we also have a halloween party which is uh, where we like to investigate some more esoteric uh, themes and then in march we have a burlesque ball as we all know burlesque has been come back into style and uh, we uh, bring in like last year we had the international queen of burlesque perform at a party slash um, burlesque uh, performance event party and then leading up into the mondo Zé ball uh, as of april we usually announce the theme of the ball in april and between April and uh, August, we do small events leading up to the event, at which we call like lifestyle entertainment. So we choose a theme, and people that love the concept of Mondoze, that like to live the concept of Mondoze on a more regular basis, can do that by becoming the theme. So on their weekends, they could escape reality and come and live in our rosy, fun world where there's no problems and just peace and love mm-hmm. and sensuality, because sensuality is just the most important thing in life, I think. So the big peace, love, and sensuality bash. Um, uh, is happening not this coming Saturday, but the the Saturday after. Is That's that right? right, Saturday, August twenty seven. Tell us more about uh, what's going to happen on that magical evening. Okay, well, the concept of the night, as I mentioned, was peace and love. So we're asking people to come dressed in a postmodern version of what we think is a hippie, which is pretty much uh, everything, all the clothing is in style right now. So Forever 21, Simons, H&M, Zara, it's all bohemian chic right now. So we chose a theme that could be uh, very accessible uh, to people. But lose the patchouli. That's right, lose the patchouli, come clean, shave the under arms please uh trim the the nether regions uh, if you're gonna get lucky that night or something um and uh basically the first part of the night is going to be very uh uh human very hippie very carnal very uh staying into the very house music so that we could feel the music feel the people and the second half of the night is going to be as if we took a uh, communal lsd acid pill and the night will go very uh psychedelic and i use psychedelic in a very light way um we're going to have an international dj blake jarrell the uh apprentice to uh to armin van buren and he's going to be playing a mix of uh progressive 
progressive house and very light on trance uh, and that will give us a uh, like the hippies were always looking for transcendence and to, to reach the next dimension the fifth dimension so we're going to play on that concept of uh, elevating our consciousness uh, through peace love and sensuality to get to a next level of ecstasy awesome yeah uh, so uh I want to clarify something that uh, I, I think I heard you say. It's going to be, the, the ambience will be highly sexual, highly sexually charged, but it's not a sex party. You, it, want, to, you want to go to some lengths to clarify that, Absolutely. Right? Our goal, our, the mission of, of our event is to uh, uh, stimulate people, seduce people, create the excitement. That's why it's perfect for couples, especially couples that have been together for a long time and you know they feel their love life is stagnating a bit or whatever. They could come to this event and just by being voyeurs and watching um, other people in the party that are more exhibitionist or performances, whatever, and give them a, an atmosphere where they could actually dance and get close to each other and make out on the dance floor uh, more than they would in a regular club because in a regular club you'll get looked at and you're like what are these people get a room well it, at Mondo Ball you can actually you know make out have fun but keep the sexual uh, exchanges for after the party at your home or hotel or whatever you'd like so you'll bring them to the brink with all of your entertainment but you're not letting them well, isn't, do the deed. isn't the magic yeah. about seduction and foreplay and all that jazz? But yeah, we don't let them do the deed at all. Do you actually event. police? Sorry? Do you actually do do we police? police the crowd for that kind it of thing? It is policed. I mean, uh, just like in every other party, if you find a dark corner that you're not uh, supposed to be in and whatever, we, we don't control that. But if we do see, look, you, you, girls have been known to go topless and have their boobs played with and stuff like that but that's the limited there's no genital exposure there's no uh, oral sex or anything slings like sorry slings for example yeah, yeah. yeah that's right no swings no sex swings none of that no all right just checking no no you that's know, good our, our, our people are listening well, our people yes our people think of <laughs> slings, <Have> slings. <laughs> the first thing that they think of <laughs> when you're going out on a saturday night and jordan has says, them at sensual parties. sensuality no only in the art gallery context but well, that's that's my point is that uh when you look at um the, more of the mainstream uh society and the minute you start talking about sexuality or anything like that it's like so taboo and and i've i've experienced it more like society is so over sexualized we could see it in in uh, tv videos and everything but when it and and to be a viewer or consumer of sex that's perfectly ac acceptable like everybody is in accordance to it we're all buying rihanna lady gaga it's all okay but the minute you create an event that activates individuals to start acting and connecting with sensuality on on a real level, everybody mm. is up in arms. Everybody's freaking out. Everybody doesn't want that to happen because maybe we will uh, touch on something, on some enlightenment or illumination. And that's our mission. Our mission is to create enlightenment and illumination in each individual through uh, through daring experiences and 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 creating an environment so that each individual could ask questions internally and they could find their own answers and be proud enough and, and strong enough and confident enough to live the way they want to. That makes them happy. Well, Beautiful. you might have piqued the curiosity of our listeners, and I, I will tell them now that if they're interested in going, we actually have been authorized to to uh, give away a pair of tickets. Absolutely. Uh, we're going to be doing that on, on the... Um, the Facebook page, so uh, look out for that. Uh, once again, the party happens on Saturday, the 27th of August. That's not this coming Saturday, but the following one. Uh, doors open at 9 p.m. Uh, performances start at 10. It's all happening at uh, the Olympia Theater, is yeah. that right? Yeah. The Olympia Theater, which is at the corner of St. Catherine and... St. Timothy. St. Timothy, near and, Amherst, yeah. around there. And that's right. And then the, the ticket also includes uh, an after party, because the party goes from 9 to 3 a.m. And with your ticket, you could uh, cross the street, go to Circus, and have a, uh, an extended uh, night free of charge. And uh, we have a VIP access, so no lineup, VIP room. And uh, all the information is on our website, mondeoseball.com. That's M O N. D E O S C -E B A L L dot com and uh, check it out. We have tons of uh, promotion. Like with your ticket, you could go to uh, Boutique Seduction and get uh, a discount on vibrators and and lubes. And you could go to restaurants and get appetizers for free. So our ticket includes a lot of uh, fun extra. Um, 
goodies. All right, and I imagine you have some sort of Facebook page or something like that. That's right. If you search Mount Ose on Facebook, you'll see our organization page, and from there you'll be able to find our event page. You can also do a Bal Mount Ose on uh, um, Eventco website or on Facebook, and you'll find our events. There you go. Uh, so, well, thank you very much for talking to us about about your event. This thank sounds you, really interesting. And uh, and once again, the website to go to is mondozeball.com or in French balmondoze.com there you go um, there you go um, 